Thank you, Mr. Chairman, um, <clears throat> board members, ladies and gentlemen. It's really an honor for me to be here today, finally in the position of CEO of the California High Speed Rail Authority. I did say a few words at the last board meeting, but uh, as you know, I've just taken over this position during this week, and uh, I did want to say a few things on this occasion, in particular as I believe that what is going to be necessary is support and partnership, uh, and that means I need to speak to you about the support and partnership we're going to need to make this project, this wonderful project, happen. I've um, already said this to many of you, I've said it to many of the legislators, and um, I sincerely me mean this, I'm serious about this job, but it's not going to be possible to do it on our own, and we're going to have to work on partnering together with many of you. Uh, as the chairman has already said, this is day three for me on the job, so you will understand that uh, I will must probably have more questions than answers at this stage, and uh, I would need a little longer to make myself really uh, update myself on the current status of the project. I can tell you the first two days have been extremely exciting, and I'm more excited today than even on, on Tuesday when I started. So that being said, I'd like to make a few broad statements on priorities that I believe are already known to me of what needs to be done and where some of the focus should be. One is obviously that we are going to have to work on uh, assembling a stronger and more experienced team, management team, in the authority. The next is uh, we would need to revisit some of the assumptions that have been made on the project to check their validity today. Another one would be we need to make progress on federal and private funding. And of course, I will repeat again the, the, the partnering that we have to do together. So just a few words about these individual items. We need top-notch experienced people. This is a huge project. It needs really good experienced people in our core team. We need proper oversight, enhanced risk management, and a proactive public outreach. I have uh, read the organizational assessment done by KPMG, and um, I have also read the legislative analyst's report, and in fact, they reconfirm many of the same things. And I've also read the state auditor's report, and in fact, if you read and you've got access to these documents, you see that they all point to very similar things that we have to address. I believe that my own experience over 30 odd years of, uh, of management uh, 